In this video, we're going to learn how to install the Absolar iOS SDK into a basic Xcode project. You'll first need to register an account with Absolar and log in. Once logged into your dashboard, download the latest version of the Absolar SDK by hitting the Get the SDK under Developer Tools button. Make sure you download the SDK file compatible with your version of Xcode. I'll be using 4.5.1 for this demo. Now I'm going to launch my Xcode project, which contains a basic demo app. To install the Absolar SDK, I'm going to right-click on my project's name and hit Add Files to. The Absolar SDK has two versions, a U version and a non-U version. We recommend the U version to collect unique identifiers. I'm selecting Create Groups for Any Added Folders, and now have some new files in my project. Absolar.h, Absolar.js, and liveAppSolar.a. If your app doesn't use JavaScript, you can remove the Absolar.js file at any point in time. Now let's add some frameworks. Click on your project's name. And be sure you've highlighted the targets part. Under the Build Phases tab and Link Binary with Libraries, click the plus. We're going to add LibSQLite 3.0.dylive system configuration dot framework and security framework. If you're using Xcode 4.5 or above like me, you should also include the add support framework. And there you have it. You've successfully installed the Absolar iOS SDK files and frameworks. Before we start instrumenting events, we should understand what level of granularity we need to measure in our app. If you would like to understand or remarket to your users based on specific in-app actions, you'll need to instrument events. Instrumenting events means you could measure actions, like users who have reached a level in your game, or users who have added an item to their shopping cart. But if you'd like to acquire, analyze, and remarket to your audience at a user level, you do not need to instrument events. If you still aren't sure whether you need to instrument events, Here's what you get with each option. Notice how instrumentation takes care of audience targeting, remarketing, campaign attribution, and in-app analytics. Now to integrate the SDK and get events showing up on the AppSolar platform, we have to instrument some code that starts sessions and tracks our events. So first, I'll need to import the AppSolar class library using the import AppSolar.h statement at the top of my AppDelegate.m file. To start an Absolar session, we'll need to insert code under a few methods in my app delegate file. I'm implementing start session in my application did become active method. This method gets called after launch to inform your delegate, the application, that it's gone from an inactive to active state. Notice that I put my API key in secret in the call. Visit your dashboard to retrieve yours. Now I'm going to go to Absolar's event tracking console to enter my UDID. The console lets me know that my events are being recorded a couple minutes after they happen. Build and run, and test your application. Hit the events that are supposed to be in the console, and you should see them. Now be patient, because these might take a couple minutes to show up. For more information and technical assistance, visit our support center at support.absolar.com. Have fun measuring your mobile analytics, and thanks for watching.